This is the Pack and Cool cooler developed by North Carolina State University. Um, what, the idea with this was to provide a cost-efficient way for growers to cool their produce. As you heard earlier, if we, the sooner you can get produce cooler, the better it is for shelf life and product quality. This unit uses a 12,000 BTU air conditioner uh, to cool and the CoolBot unit that controls the air conditioner. The way the CoolBot works is it takes the thermal couple from the air conditioner that normally controls the temperature of the air conditioner, so when it gets 60 degrees, it shuts off, and heats that up with a small resistor. You just wrap the two together, and then the cool bot will then control the temperature of the air conditioner by heating that resistor, heats up the air conditioner, so the air conditioner thinks it's 90 degrees inside. In reality, it could be 40 degrees inside. And then when it reaches temperature, it shuts off, and then the thermostat and the air conditioner shuts, it, shuts the air conditioner down. Um, it's insulated with four inches of styrofoam insulation and sheeted in plywood with uh, low VOC paint, and then we covered that with polycarbonate panels to provide some impact resistance. Um, we've added shelves to the unit um, that can easily be changed and moved around to suit the produce that's going to be hauled. Strawberries, uh, you can use this for floral arrangements. You can also use this for uh, any uh, mobile cooling for uh, farm to school type programs. Um, so it's, it's versatile in what it can do. The temperature is totally variable. Uh, it can go anywhere from 60 degrees down to 35 degrees with no problem. We've added an air curtain to the end of the trailer to help uh, when you open the door so you don't lose all your cooling capacity. Um, we, the trailer is built with barn door style, which means there's two doors versus a ramp door. Um, this allows you only hit, you'll have less opening when you do open a door, and the curtain just allows you to keep that much more cool air in, but it's easy enough to get into the trailer to load and unload produce. To allow the pack and cool to be more transportable, we can power the unit with a generator. It's a simple a 4,000 watt, 110 volt, 220 volt generator that we purchased at a local store that can power the CoolBot unit. The CoolBot runs on 110 volts and we've added a power input to the side of the trailer to allow for easy access to power. We've also added a shield to the front of the trailer and this allows you to pull the trailer going down the road and not affect the air conditioner's performance. The air conditioner was a standard window air conditioner that we purchased from a hardware store. Um, that, that was around $320. Uh, the CoolBot itself is available online. Um, that's $300. The trailer we uh, purchased was brand new. Um, it's a 5x8 trailer. Um, that was right around $1,500 for that. Um, total cost for this unit, not including labor, uh, you're looking at around $4,000. So it's a cost-efficient way uh, for small farmers that can't afford a $50,000 reefer truck to transport and keep their produce cool. So this is a large cooler. This would be adequate for a lot of small growers. It's a 12 by 12 cooler. It's going to cost you quite a bit of money to do it, to have somebody build it for you. It's going to cost about ten dollars to $12,000. But it will get the temperature down to around 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what you need to keep your strawberries the longest. The other thing this thing has, this cooler has going for it, is that it's all clad in aluminum, so it's easy to keep clean, and it has an aluminum floor, which makes it much easier. It would also keep the humidity higher because you don't have wooden walls, which tend to take the moisture out of material. One of the other things we have showing in here is a forced air cooler. The most efficient way to use a forced air cooler is inside a room cooler like this. And what we did was, you can buy a forced air cooler, you can make it your own, but we wanted something that would give us the kind of air movement we needed to go through a whole pallet of fruit or a half a pallet of fruit and get the temperature of the pallet of fruit down as quickly as possible within six to eight hours. And the way you do this is you, we started out with essentially a squirrel cage fan, which is behind here. It's a large fan. And what we first had to figure out was how can we adapt this to make it more portable? Because normally these would be way over 200 pounds and it would be very difficult to do. So what happened was we added these, this set of tires here to help us roll it around. This whole thing weighs about 75 pounds. We had another pair of small tires on the other side of it so that we could flip it around with some handles. And we added a switch back here so we could turn it on and off easily. Normally when you do forced air cooling, you're going to have a piece of, of canvas or tarp that comes completely over your load. And you have a kind of a tunnel between here. So you have air here and the air will end up being 
you push your warm air out and you pull your cold air in. And in this case, what we did was added this particular system here where we have these rods and they hold this piece of material that we hand sewed uh, and put on the edge here. It's kind of a do-it-yourself fan, forced air fan. We turn it on. You see you get quite a bit of air movement. 